last laps run in this practice session. Danica Patrick, Brigitte Smith. Who is new to the number seven this year? Casey Mears, Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski. Did you uh, go over this morning and do yoga with, uh, with Danica? <laughs> I was waiting for you to show up to pick me <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> he sent you for a long wait. <laughs> I'd say we cup coffee right along there. Yeah. I'll tell you, two drivers uh, teams here in, in, in this draft that I think are going to be moving up that laps about more, and, and that's Chris Buescher and Brian Scott, two rookies. We haven't talked a lot about them. Obviously, a lot of... Uh, uh, talk about Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney, but these two guys, uh, very talented race car drivers uh, with, with a lot on the line here in Daytona and putting in a lot of laps here to really get an idea of what they need for uh, this race tour. Well, I think a lot of these guys here look for speed. They just don't have the speed and they know they need it, and I think that's what they're working on. And you know, I see that 44 car and I squint, and I see newly minted Hall of Famer Terry Labonte in the Piedmont Airlines car. That's yeah, yeah, so yeah. true. It's hard, hard to ever get away with from some of those images. Oh, yeah. so I saw uh, Landon Castle there was leading that, that uh, draft there, and you saw him put his hand out the window. And, and basically, when you've led a lot of laps or you're out front, you, you now think to yourself, okay, I want to get back and get behind some cars and see what the car does. So he kind of waved them on by, moved to the top. Obviously, not all of them wanted to go on by him and uh, let some cars go, and then he's going to fall back in line, see what his car does uh, in, in, in a different type of draft rather than be out front. I think that's Brian Vickers in the 14 up there, and I think he's a guy that needs to run a lot of laps. Yeah, yeah that's comfortable. Absolutely. I think, as we documented earlier, he would have liked to have had a much more solid race uh, on, on Saturday night than limited. Had he had a solid race, I think he'd be sitting here with a lot of confidence, feeling good about it. Uh, and it wasn't his fault. The tire cut down, but uh, you know, yeah, a lot of laps, get a lot of experience, and this we know this is a car team that can go battle for a win for the Daytona 500. Now there's something we haven't seen all week: 8,700 RPM Woo! coming through the trial down the track. Here's James Little on today's Bicycle Pit Report. Carl Edwards just came walking through the garage. He said, "I'm going to go out there get my car," and your crew chief said, "No, nah, not so fast." So what's your plan now? I'm just going to stand by the car. Pretty much, that's it. So, um, you act like my boss and Carl. I guess, um, we decided not to agree with next practice. It's hard, you know, you had this plan like, hey, we're not gonna wreck the car. We got this, you know, you guys are out there running, you want to go out there and go. So, I'll just hang out here in case they change your mind and want to let me get in the car. But I think most of them just say practice. It's so hard. Some drivers they want to get out there and they're torn and they don't want to mess up their car. He reminds I always think about what uh, Larry told me, Earnhardt used to say, that Larry, you know, he was kind of finicky anyway. He wanted to get that car up there on the track, get it in traffic, see how it's going to run. And, and Larry going to Dale and say, Dale, is he going to go out there and run in traffic, see how the car's going to do? Nope, don't plan on being in no traffic. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't very often. <laughs> so here's the, uh, the pit side for Chase Elliott. What I like about this, you're looking at a team very experienced team with the 24 car. <laughs> Alan Gustafson and this team are paying attention to details. They are trying to cross their T's and dot their I's. They're on the pole of the Daytona 500. They want to make sure they get through this race tomorrow by having a great experience in that race. That's why they're out there drafting a lot, getting them used to being in the draft and chase. But they're also really practicing getting on pit road, getting in the pit box. It was so many aspects that go into this race to not just be in it, but be a real factor when it's all over. It's not like he's never been here before. I mean, he run the Xfinity races here, and so he knows kind of what he's getting into. But he's being led by one of the best that he brought here, too. Just like you said, Alan Gilson, he's one of those guys when you're driving the car as a veteran than you were, or whether it's that rookie Chase Elliott, he's got things on his agenda that he wants to be sure of taking care of the car. They brought that pit sign all the way down to pit stall number three, I believe, which is the first pit stall to be used. That's the one the pole center usually chooses. But since that is right next to where the line is for cars waiting to get on the track, it'll be a little while before they can practice pit entry and exit right from the pit stall. You know, I saw that earlier when he rolled down there. He had to go around some cars, so he couldn't actually carry his pit road speed all the way to the mark he really wanted to and then shoot in to where he could uh, slide into the box. That's what you really want to do. You want to simulate as best as possible. I love this. A fan a fan gets a photo. Photo. That's cool. Let's watch Brian Vickers come off turn number four in the 14. So watch his hands. Goes. Watch his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we've seen a lot of cars with a lot of movement coming off a of turn four. The first thing I always...
always do is look at the wind. Where's the wind coming from? And today it's actually coming from turn four. So I'm just wondering if there's not much of a headwind that's really putting more downforce on the car. I'm just wondering if the car in the track are getting really light over there as they come off of turn four in the back. And the wind has really picked up in the last five minutes or so. That flag was just about still five or eight minutes ago. I, I really feel like that Ryan Vickers is, is trying to get this car comfortable for him. Uh, that car in the Unlimited wasn't all that stable. Uh, do a lot of moving around, and you get you. Got, we talked about Brian. He hadn't driven the car for a while, and been to Daytona for a while. This car is doing things that he's uncomfortable with, and uh, they got to try to tighten him up, get him feel a little bit better. It's, we talked about this earlier. Is it important to have a comfortable car, or a good handling car, a car with a lot of speed? Right now, if I'm if I'm that team. I'm thinking, let's get a car that he can make some, some aggressive moves with, feel very comfortable and confident, and build on that. Eight and a half minutes to go in the first of two practice sessions we're going to bring you live today on FS1.